Alright guys, I am back and ready to do the uh, next part. It's going to be a two part video. First, I'm going to do a little bit of announcement video concerning what I'm going to do on Monday because as most of y'all know, Monday is Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday and I'll be off of work that day. And to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, I got this board game. I only played this board game once. It's called Obama Mania. And in this game, the object of this game is to get to the finish line and go to the White House and have 270 electoral votes, just like in real life when they have a campaign. Have 270 electoral votes in order to win the game. And you have to um, pay all your dues, your debts and stuff in the game. And I'm going to show y'all what this board looks like. You may not see it up close, but what I'm planning on doing is if anybody is interested in playing this game on camera on Monday, let me know on Facebook or let me know through the chat box under this video. But this is the board game itself. And as you see on the board game, you probably won't see it this up close, but there's various spaces on the board from free turns to money amounts on the board that you can get from fundraising and stuff. Now the idea of the game is you want to spin this wheel on this game board. And the player will go as long as he does not hit any of these red spaces on the game board or land, lose um, one or two tokens or lands on a penalty space on this wheel. And the wheel consists of the numbers one through five, and it also says gain two tokens. Then it has dollar amounts on this wheel that will get you bonus money, and also it's lose one token and lose two tokens, and that will cost you your turn. Now the idea of this game is you want to land on these blue spaces, and when you land on a blue space on this board, you got to follow with the blue space says, and also, it's not only a race to the fence, but it's also a trivia game. And let me pull out these questions here. And these are the various questions. Let me pull these out here. I have to rubber band these questions here. Forgive me. I'm not prepared here. You gotta get these questions out of this box. Get this out of the box. Alright, finally got the questions out of the box. So these are what the questions look like in this game here. I might have to turn these over. And these questions are mainly about Obama. And when it is the player's turn and the player lands on a blue space, I'll be asking um, the um, players three questions about Barack Obama in the game. It could be about his presidency or his lifestyle and stuff. And what these guys are going to do is they're going to have to try to answer these questions correctly. And each time the player gets to a blue space, I'm going to ask them three questions on their turn. Now, if they manage to get one part of the question right, they'll score a point. If they manage to answer two parts of the question right, they'll score two points. Excuse me. Forgive me. And if they manage to land, get three questions right, then answering all three questions will net them five points. And those points are very important because once you get to the finish line, and the finish line is right here, you can convert those points either to money if you haven't paid your debts already, or you can even convert your points to, um, to uh, electoral votes. And each point represents a, an electoral vote. And you know, it takes 270 electoral votes 
to win the game, but you have to pay all your debts. And each player in the game will start with $50 million. But also, in case they don't got the money to back up or pay for their debts, they'll be allowed a $100 million line of credit, like a $100 million credit card to help pay their debts. But the thing about it is, here's the catch. If you use your credit card, you have to pay the credit card back. You have to pay off back, back up the credit card back, just like in real life. Because if you don't pay the credit bills, then the bills raise up. But on this game, you must pay your credit card back in order to win the game. Even though you have 270 votes in the game, if you have the 270 votes in the game, but you do not pay your bills back, then you still don't win the game because you have to pay, go back through this game board and pay the bills. So, say if you land on the finish line and you don't have your votes, then you have to start back over again and try to do this track again until you do have 270 votes and win the game by paying all your debt. So, this is an interesting game. So, if any of you guys are interested in playing this game on Monday during Martin Luther King's birthday, Put it on your Facebook, um, po post it on Facebook. I didn't do a message on Facebook. And I also, um, um, and I also will allow you to post uh, your comments on this uh, YouTube page if you're able to do so. So, that will work out. Now, I have another announcement video that I have to mention. It involves a little bit about trolling and about a user who uh, messaged me earlier about another user trolling. Give me a second because I have to get my notes. Give me one second. I have a lot of announcements today, guys, so bear with me. Alright, so this user messaged me. Defense Fan 345 messaged me on about a David Smith is back, about how David Smith is back is trolling Brandon the movie guy in VHS beta movie lover. Now, what I found out about this is he wanted me to do a red card video for um for David Smith is back. Now, here's my answer on that. I'm not going to do a red card video. I'm going to tell you why. Now, if y'all folks are trolling back and forth with each other and stuff, then y'all going to end up both being in trouble because y'all going to be red carded. The mature thing to handle with is this. And I'm, at, I'm talking to all users on YouTube. If somebody's trolling you on your channel and they are bothering you on your channel, whether it's by video or by, um, or by chatting or messaging it or commenting and stuff, then it is your job to flag that user and report them. You don't go back and forth trolling back and forth to each other because it will get y'all a community guideline strike too. So no defense fan three four five. I will not do a red card video today because there were too many people uh, trolling back and forth with each other. Because I mean, if one person is trolling wrong and then the other person is trolling, I cannot um, get on one person without getting the other person. So really, um, these guys who have been trolling back and forth, back and forth to each other, I don't know who started this trolling. Um, per se, because I was in on the conversation, I was in involved in it. But what I will say is this: everybody's wrong, so maybe y'all should stop trolling altogether, everybody, and about who's grounded and stuff. Because you cannot troll people, because it can backfire on you one of these days, and then you are, you guys will regret it. That's the bottom line about it. So this is not going to be a red card video because everybody, all the parties that were involved were trolling back and forth with each other. So I cannot do a red card video. What's going to happen is both of y'all going to get a community guideline strike if y'all do that. 
So y'all need to stop trolling each other, be nice on the internet, and try to um, make YouTube a better website. And uh, that's that. And the last thing I want to say is this. On tomorrow, not tonight, but on tomorrow, I'm going to do my final announcement for the birthday special. The birthday specials that y'all did for me. It was seven users that did a birthday special for me. And I really thank y'all for doing the birthday special for me. It means a lot. And, you know, it does my heart good. It makes me want to keep on staying on YouTube. And, um, and I just thank God for you guys, for those of you who do support my channel, whether it's me doing my gameplays on my channel or doing board game showdowns or Password or whatever, or whether or not um, I'm reading my Bible, because I will read my Bible. I'm just going to speak from the truth. I will be honest with you guys. Now, I'm not going to deny the fact that I curse on camera, but guys, what I want to tell you is this. Ignore, ignore the cursing. Just take the meat of what I say a lot of the time and then take my wisdom from what I tell you guys. That's what I'm going to tell you about that. Take the meat of what I tell you. Don't uh, pay attention to the cussing. And that's what I'm going to say to y'all about that. Because I know God is still working with me too. So, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. So, guys, we all are working together. The only guy, only person who's perfect is God, the man upstairs. So, that's what I'll say about that. And I think that is it with my um, announcements. Alright, guys. We're going to talk to you soon. I'm going to try to upload Password tonight because I've been so busy. Because I did so many Password games and stuff. That I haven't been able to upload all my videos. That's why I had to take a break. On uh, on yesterday. And not film anything. Because I have so many videos. So. We're going to do. Um, um, that. I'm going to upload episode number 12 of Password. And I hope y'all and guys enjoy it. But for right now. This is Rodney127. I'm signing off. Saying be safe. Be careful. And take care everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>